Everybody, so here's where our workflow is at right now. Let me show you what I've got here. So this is how I'm going to be organizing my documentary, documentary and actually making a lot of my documentary. I am going to use iPhoto to create a slideshow. So here I have uh, all my images loaded in. These are different pictures. Some of them I took and some of them uh, I found on the internet like that one. I mean, and then uh, what I've done is I've created a slideshow. So uh, the first thing I did is I imported my images, I made them into an album. And then this is a really easy way. You can just take all of them over here and let's see if you do this. Uh, well, you can figure out how to do it. You can make a slideshow. Um, you make the slideshow, you just start dumping images in there. So let's say that uh, here's my slideshow down here. It's called Ruby. Um, if I wanted to, I can just take an image here and stick it in there. Just It's that easy. Bam, it's in there. Um, it's already in there. So, um, And then once I have my slideshow, I am going to do a couple of things with my slideshow. I'm going to go to my themes, and I'm going to set my theme to classic. Um, look, here's Ken Burns. It's a theme. Uh, I'm not going to use that theme, though, because some of my slides are going to use the Ken Burns effect where you pan in and out, and some of them are not. So you can uh, mess around with this yourself. I've also created some title slides. Like here is the title of my film right now. This is what's called a working title. I could change it. I don't, I don't know. And I made this in Photoshop, which you also have. And here's another title that I made uh, that, whoa, I don't know what this is going to be, um, that uh, I just made them, saved them as JPEGs, and then put them on my desktop. And from my desktop, I put them into uh, iPhoto. And um, there's certain things you want to be aware of when you're finding images. Um, I'm not sure. So here's an image that I found on the internet, and then I took it into Photoshop and added that big arrow. So this is going to be a really cool high-tech feature. Is going to be uh, on my documentary. This arrow is going to pop up about the time when my narration says, uh, we chose to move from the United States to Honduras, which a lot of people don't know where it is. There it is. Um, so that'll be pretty cool. And here's some images of Honduras, uh, and here's some images uh, that are going to fit in. There's me and the dog. Oh, it's goodness, what a good dog. Um, here's me at our house that we lived in. So all this is going to fit together to tell the story of this dog and our family. And what uh, my workflow allows me to do is I've even started to set it up in a certain way. Like these might be the first three images. Music will start. Um, I can flip through with my finger and start to see how long I want each image to be up there. And what I can do on an image by image basis uh, using this program, which is a pretty simple program, but it's pretty powerful. You know, this is not the only way you could do this, but I think it's the easiest, is that you can in the settings on the individual slide, here I can choose that just this particular slide, how many seconds it's going to play for. I can also do a Ken Burns effect on just this individual slide, depending on whether or not I want to. You can decide all this. There's transitions between slides. Um, I would say don't do distracting transitions, but it's up to you. And you can bounce back and forth between all slides and just this slide. But I think I'm going to have do it on a slide-by-slide -slide basis, because once I write my narration, I'll have a sense of, um, you know, so this is me beginning, and I'm just thinking about it right now. This is this is why having them in this arrangement is so beneficial to you, and I hope that you get here as soon as possible because I can start to think about what I want to say with each image. And uh, we decided to move to one of the most beautiful, exotic countries in the world, Honduras. And it was there that I met the best dog I've ever known. You know, and you can see how these images fit with my words. And this will give me a chance to try it out as I'm building my, uh, as I'm building my documentary. It'll be a trial and error process. Um, but once I'm done with everything, then what I'm going to do is, uh, from this slideshow, once I got the slideshow set up exactly how I want it, and I can practice that narration, um, then I'm going to export it. And uh, I'll probably go through this process in a different video. But basically, I'm going to export it to another program, to iMovie. And that is where I can add my narration. And that's where I can add the, mo and that's where I can add the, uh, the music. So I think that that's the easiest way for workflow. Speaking of workflow, 
What's in front of you today, this is going to be due on Thursday, is a documentary project proposal, which is available uh, in the agenda for today. It'll probably be there tomorrow too, in an upload form. You're going to upload it twice, once today at the end of the day and once tomorrow. So uh, here's the example. This is mine for my project. Um, you can see it's pretty detailed. It's got like 924 words. You're going to go through all of this uh, for your own. And you'll take this copy right here. And you'll make a copy. And what you'll do is you'll just fill it all out. And then at the end of the day, you'll copy it and paste it into a window. And I'll be able to see where you're at in your process. Bye.